looking for the latest gist in the world of sports? Look no further. You are about to be served. This is NX Daily Top 5 Sports. At number 5, Gerald Miller denied license to fight Anthony Joshua after adverse finding in drug test. Gerald Miller has been denied a license to fight Anthony Joshua by the New York State Athletic Commission following an adverse finding from a drug test in March. The decision to deny his license does not guarantee that a fight against Anthony Joshua is off, but Miller will be able to reply if his B sample does not show an adverse finding. However, Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn has said that they are like to need a new opponent. At number 4, James Harden post triple double to lead Houston Rockets to game two route of Utah Jazz. James Harden posted his third career postseason triple double as the Houston Rockets recorded another route after visiting Utah Jazz, rolling to 118 to 98 victory in game two of the Western Conference first round series. After Utah Jazz utilized an unorthodox defensive approach against Harden in the series opener, Harden exploded for 25 first half points on 8 of 15 shooting, including 5 of nine accuracy on three-point attempts. He finished 11 of 24 from the floor and 6 of 13 from long distance. Harden, however, did commit a game-high eight turnovers. Double-double. Steve Francis had one. Wow, those are some pretty good names. Ralph Samson, seven foot four. That's Rivers from downtown. Get these two games and get just to game three and see what can happen. Parkinson. Who just checked in Isaiah Hartenstein? Hartenstein, 20 year old rookie, seven footer. That counts, and the foul. Hartenstein with the ball, hands to house, fires for three, and the tip by Hartenstein. Lead for the Houston Rockets, a 118 98 victory here at home. Thanks to our producer, Tom Heights, director, Andrew Greathouse, our associate director, Gonzalo Floyd, associate producer, underdog, Joe Underhill. At number 3, Francesco Molinari moving on from draining masters at RBC Heritage. Francesco Molinari is looking to put his master's disappointments behind him as he returns to action at the RBC Heritage. The Open champion was in poor position to claim the opening men's major of the year and held a two-shot lead heading into the back nine at Augusta National only to finish tied fifth after two double boogies in its closing 74. Molinari's late stutter allowed playing partner Tiger Woods to secure a 15th major title with the Italian now looking to bounce back at Harbour Town before taking some time to rest ahead of the PGA Championship next month. At number 2, Rafael van der Vaart to try his hand at darts in video tournaments in Denmark. Former Tottenham midfielder Rafael van der Vaart is set to make his video debut next month in the Denmark Open and Denmark Masters. Van der Vaart's name appears on the entry list for the event in Esbjerg where he lives with his partner Estevana Polman, a local handball star. His brother Fernando is also entered for the tournament which takes place on the 4th and 5th of May along with video leading lights including Scott Mitchell. Dean Win Stanley and Andy Hamilton. At number one. Let's check out the highlights of the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League. Liverpool set up a semi-final showdown with Barcelona as a clinical 4-1 victory at Porto secured a 6-1 win on aggregate in the Champions League. Georgian club side weathered an early storm as Porto pushed for the much-needed opener at the Estadio do Drago, but the host ultimately fell behind when the VAR route Sadio Mane was onside when tapping in from Mohamed Salah's cross. In the other game of the night, Tottenham reached the Champions League semi-finals for the first time in the history in an accelerating 4-4 away goals win over Manchester City on a remarkable night at the Etihad Stadium. Raheem Sterling was denied a dramatic winner in stoppage time when Sergio Aguero was ruled offside in the build-up after a VAR check as Fernando Llorente's unorthodox finish, which also survived a VAR check for handball with 17 minutes remaining, ensured Mauricio Pochettino's side face Ajax for a place in the final. And that's it on NX Daily Top 5 Sports. For this and more, follow us on all social media platforms at Nigerzy Extreme and you can visit our website. It is www.nigerzy.tv.